get ready to rumble one more time at the Waterford Speedball. Tony Leckie eyeballs the field. Saravulo's on the throttle. Now down into turn number one with Modified Racing at the bowl. Todd Saravulo gets the jump on the start. John Anderson quickly powering back in that number 14X. Currently running in the third position car number three for Jimmy Broderick. The 84X, that's Phil Rondo behind the wheel of that machine. Richie Gallup, Ricky Young, Jerry Pearl, Bob Potter rounding out the top of the field. Flying zero of Ricky Young working that high groove, trying to get around the 31X of Gallup. Side by side, down through the turns. Ricky Young hanging tough up on the high side. Now getting pressure from the 43 of Jerry Pearl as the Flying Zero starts to backpedal just a little bit. A little further back in the back, the 07 of Burt Marvin hanging it out up on the high side, working around the 47 of Scott Spaulding. Now tags the bumper of the 19 of Moose Hewitt. Both those drivers very strong competitors here at the Speedway. Simo slided up right up against the wall, now drops right back down in front of Spaulding, trying to hold up the 50, the 47 of Scott Spaulding in the 07 of Burt Marvin. Up in the front, you see John Anderson trying to make a bid for the lead, trying to get around the 31 of Cerevolo as he pushes him down the straightaway. Coming out of turn number two, the heat is up on the backside of Cerevolo in the 31. Anderson's putting the pressure on in that Mystique Motorsport Modified. Coming off a of turn four, rip riding, blowing that chrome horn down the front straightaway. He's looking at Paul's TV, now he's looking on the inside, trying to get himself down on the bottom shot. Didn't work coming out of two. Todd Cerevolo's gonna have his hands full coming off a of turn four, because this is where Anderson's gonna try to make a move. Let's see as he reels it around. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, hanging tough in that third spot, watching this deal happen in front of him, Jimmy Broderick for the number three. Jimmy, Jimmy Broderick having a great seat for their fight right up in front of him, watching the two leaders dice it back and forth. John Anderson trying to find a way around the 31 of Todd Cerebolo. Trouble through turn two, the 716 of Tucker Reynolds getting way out of shape, slides it down through the gas, brings it back up onto the speedway. He continues under his own power. Still back up in front to the 31 of Todd Cerebolo leading the 14X of John Anderson. 71 laps on the books as we try to complete the 80 laps not completed at the Bud Blast Off. And they're blasting down into turn number one. The front three cars in the third spot is Broderick. Then Anderson and up front, Cerebulo. Todd Cerebulo in the 31. Hanging tough out there as he clicks off the lap. Anderson not giving him an inch. Keeping his cool in that blue 31, folks. Down the front straight into turn number one. Quite a few laps to go. Seems that they're settling down just a little bit. They know they're pulling away from the front runners here. The field is starting to stretch out just a bit. Single file all the way back to about eighth spot as the bowl is really cooking tonight. Earlier tonight, it looks like one of those jet trucks might have blown all of them crash and crap off the track as they got a nice line going down through turns number one wide open bringing them across two here comes the field across the straight anderson takes a look and taps the back end of saravulo coming off a of turn four looks like he almost was going to lose it kept his cool and lost a little bit of real estate on that move broderick in the three keeping an eye on these guys watching them do battle because no one can really get close to him but now here comes gallop and the other saravulo falls to the car Right now he's seeing him, but he can't reel him in. He's sitting back watching this deal happen. Now the field starts to settle down and stretch out just a little bit. We're starting to ride around at modified speeds, well over 100 miles an hour at the bowl. Putting the pressure all over the back of Gallup in that 31X car is the 43. 43 of Jerry Pearl out of Colchester in the Border Chester Institute modified. That is your front five right now. Here we go, folks. Down the front stretch, here's your stack. Right now, Todd Cerevulo. There's John Anderson and Jimmy Broderick. Right behind him, Gallup. And on the back side of him is Pearl in the 43. Border and Chester modified. They've got a good straightaway distance to the back of the pack now as they are starting to check out from this field in a few more laps, they're gonna be working through some lap traffic. Battle heating up for the sixth position, the 07 of Burt Marvin sliding underneath the 54X of Phil Rondo. Rondo taking a high line through the turn, opens the door for Marvin, he shoots by going down the back stretch. Now right behind them, it's a flying zero of Ricky Young. David Gator trying to find his way around on the high side. 
both cars running very strong through the turns. Sparks fly as they exit turn two. Gator with a little bit more horsepower down the straightaway. Flying Zero has the handles through the turn. They touch once again coming off the turn. Gator falls in behind the Zero. Ricky Young moves up one more position. Good battles all the way back through the pack, but up to the front coming across the strike. 59 laps to go. Todd Cerebolo in command of this modified race. The remainder of the butt blast off taking place July 22nd here at the Waterford Speed Bowl under the lights, folks. The Mod Squad ground pound in the pavement as they make their circuits around this third mile banked oval. John Anderson in the 14X Mystique Motorsports car hanging tough, and here comes the three of products right behind him. Just taking a little peek. Let's see how things are going to go when time comes to change. Sitting back about five, six car spots back is the 31X. That's Richie Gallup. Right behind him is the 43 of Jerry Pearl putting the pressure on. Still up in front, John Anderson making a bid for the lead as he looks to the inside of Cerevolo. Left car of Keith Pavone blocked his way. He had to back off a little bit and follow Cerevolo for yet another lap. His top three cars running nose to tail. Now Jimmy Broderick taking a look up on the high side with his number three. Trying to take a look, find and see if he can get the power and get that car stick up on the high groove, trying to get around the 14X of Anderson. Cerebolo down the front stretch under the starter stand. He goes still in command of this race. 54 laps on the books. As in the back of the pack, some of these drivers have to get out of the way as they are getting passing flags for some of the faster cars. Back up front off of turn number four. Cerebolo, Anderson, and Broderick in the three. That's the way it's been playing out lap after lap here at the bowl as we continue with this modified race. Down the back stretch into turn number three. Watch how they maneuver around the lap traffic. Here goes Cerebolo around Ingles in the four, followed by the number... 14X, yellow is out on the track, yellow is out on the track, 52 laps on the books. The go and a yellow has been brought out. No one seems to have tapped the wall. What do we got, MJ? The past couple laps have been black flagging the zero of Ricky Young. Jimmy Broderick out of New Milford. Of course, the 31, another, another Cervulo car, driven by Richie Gallup, the 31X out of Agawam. Pace cars on the infield. Tony Lecky eyeballs Cervulo. Green flag action down the front straightaway. Let's watch the teammates do battle up front. Whoa, look at these guys slipping and sliding out of turn number two. Down like a shot, Cervulo in the 31. Hanging tough with him is John Anderson and Broderick right behind him. But now here comes Gallup. Gallup's got Broderick in his sights. He wants to reel him in and get around and work on the backside of Anderson, but he's got to get around that Broderick car. While he's doing that, keep an eye out for Pearl, trying to take a peek down into turn number three on the outside, driving this 27 car. David Gata hanging tough. Watch these competitors charge around his third mile back oval. Go 7 and Burt Marvin working on the high side of the 43 of Jerry Pearl. They're running for that sixth position. Marvin doing a great job in the Karaswaski Builders automobile up on that high side, trying to keep that thing glued down to the track. Side by side, they're running, haven't touched once. Both drivers doing a great job running very clean. Now Jerry Pearl has the power going into the turn. So the 07 starting to slide back just a little bit. A drop right down in behind, following 43 down through the turn. Try to get up a little more steam to try it once more. Still up in front, it's the 31 of Todd Cerevolo, the 14X of John Anderson, knocking on his back door. Trying it high, trying it low. Just can't find the racing room to get around. Right behind them is the three of Jimmy Broderick. The team car in Todd Cerevolo is the 31X of Richie Gallup sitting in that fourth place. So the Cerevolo crew having a great run here tonight so far. John Anderson takes another peek at the low line of the 14X under John Cerevolo in the 31. Does not have it. That 31 of Cerevolo up front has the power down the back and front stretch. And he seems to be having a little bit of problem in the turns. Now, giving him an inch, here comes Anderson, the 14X with Broderick in tow in the three. Now watching in the 31X, there goes Richie Gallup, a lot of pressure with Pearl in the 43 behind him. As we watch our front leaders go down into turn number three. All over the backside, 44 laps to go. This time by, this is the completion of the Bud Blast Off on July 22nd. Weather brought him here tonight to do battle to complete this mission of mercy on the modified. Down the back stretch, blowing that chrome horn all the way through three and four. John Anderson, the 
14X is doing a heck of a job of giving him a message, but Servolo's hanging on. He's putting up with the pressure. Now he takes another peek down underneath. Coming out of turn number two, right behind is the three. Up. Jimmy Broderick. See, this 31 of Cervalo starting to push, coming off the turns. He's really got the hammer down, coming out, trying to get the advantage. And that may allow him to slide up a little bit, opening the door for the 14X of Anderson to slide underneath. He can get a wheel under him just about every lap, but he just can't have the, doesn't have the power to pull it off going down the backstretch. Seeing right behind them is a three of Jimmy Broderick. Watching this battle heat up, Jimmy's going, I want to get up there, I want to join this fight. But he's still got a long way to go as the halfway marker comes out this time by. So 40 laps remaining in this 80 lap race for the Modifieds. Leftover feature from the Bud Blastoff. Leading it from the green flag, Todd Cervulo goes down into turn number one. Right behind him, Anderson in the 14X. And we've got the Broderick machine in the three going down the back stretch all in tow. These boys are starting to check out for the fourth and fifth spot cars. There is Richie Gallup in the 31X right behind him in the 43, taking a peek. Down on the inside of the front straight was the Pearl Man. There he goes, sliding high, going into turn two real hard. Seeing if he can make some momentum on Gallup. Nothing doing. Gallup hangs down low. Throttles hard off a four and gets the door shut right in Pearl's face down the front straightaway. A little further back in the pack, race heating up between Michael Gaeta and the 54X of Phil Rondo and the 716 of Tucker Reynolds. Past couple of laps, Rondo's been trying to get around Big Mike Gaeta on the high side as the caution Yellow flag, flag comes out. Been over in turn number two. That's a 54 of Eric Byrne going around, coming out of turn number two. Burnt bringing out the caution with 36 laps to go. Good, clean action here in the Mod Squad tonight at the Waterford Speed Bowl, folks. These guys are running a torrid pace. Good, good, heads up driving tonight, but running the gamut right now. Let's get out of the way of these mighty modifieds as the Mod Squad gets ready to put it down on the floor. Eyeballing Tony Leckie right now, coming down to the stripe. Good, clean start. Leckie lets him fly. Now the jump goes to Anderson. Anderson has him by a nose. Cervolo stuck down on the inside. Doesn't quite have the juice, and he loses that spot. A little bit of spark. Now we watch the Gallup machine, the 31X, up alongside his teammate, coming out of turn number four. Wheel to wheel, they touch. Oh, they touch. Unbelievable. Gallup goes flying. He touches his teammate, Todd Cervolo, trying to make the tight pass off of turn four where there really wasn't a whole lot of racing room, but he tried to get through anyway. Gallup trying to make it three wide, coming off of turn number four, just ran out of room. You see him tearing a right front wheel off of that automobile. I see from here that uh, Richie Gallup is moving around. If a turn number four comes a pace car, and he wants to get clear of these modifieds when they unleash that 400 horsepower, ground pounded down into turn number one. Hold on to the kids. Here comes a field of the new mod squad at the Waterford Speed Bowl for 35 laps. The 14 of Anderson trying to sneak up a little, get a jump, but Saravolo beats him down into turn number two, one and two. Anderson settles for second place. Battle for third. Jimmy Broderick and Jerry Pearl side by side. Right behind them, it's the 27 of David Gaeta. Scott Spaulding in the 47. Jimmy Broderick has the steam going down the straightaway. Pulls off the pass. Pearl giving him a little shot coming out of the turn. Down into turn number three. Todd Cervolo all the way. Anderson's looking high, looking low, and not buying it today, folks. Up front, the 31 Paul TV entry modified. Starts to pull away from Anderson and the rest of the pack. There's the three of Broderick, the 43 of Pearl, and the rest of the field single lining it down between turns three and four. Across the stripe one more time. Putting 33 laps to go. Down onto the books. Here we go. He's pulling it out even a little bit more, folks. Zeravulo is standing on it and checking out as Anderson has to watch this battle just kind of slip away from him a little bit as the three of Broderick starting to put pressure on him as he's getting the pressure from Pearl in the 43. Looks like the 14X of Anderson has developed a little bit of a push. You see the car start to skid up just a little bit right in the middle of the turns and when he's coming out the car drifts right up to the wall. See Jimmy Broderick now knocking on his back door. Zeravulo opens up about a car length lead over challenger John Anderson. So Anderson possibly tires going away in that automobile. Todd Cervolo is still in stout shape up in front leading this field around for lap 31. Laps clicking off here. Yellow is out. Yellow is out. Tony Leckie lets the yellow fly. 31 laps to go ladies and gentlemen. We'll have to take a look around the speedway and get some official word here on why. There's debris on the front stretch. 
the Eagle Eye of Tony Lecky, keeping the race safe once again, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give Tony a nice round of applause for catching that debris before somebody picked it up. Good heads up. Starter here at the Waterford Speed. Had a good clean start without jumping it. He's got the pressure of John Anderson in that 14 Mystique Motorsports Modified. Another fine entry to deal with. He's got Jimmy Broderick in the three right behind him. And on the high side, Mr. Pearl in the Porter Chester car. This is going to be wild. Here we go, folks. Watch Tony it. Lecky. Tony Lecky eyeballs the field as they come off of turn four. Green flag off of turn four. Here we go, folks. See Anderson touching Saravolo just on the start. Dropped down, tried to get by him. Made a little bit of contact, but both cars still running in good shape. Saravolo takes command of the race once again. Anderson looking down onto the inside as they hammer off of turn number four, down into turn number one. Once again, Anderson looking low. Doesn't have the power to make it stick. Slides back into second. Jimmy Broderick still sitting in that third position. Jerry Pearl currently in fourth. Running out the top five is the 27 of David Gaeta. 71 of Jeff Pearl up on the high side of the 21 of Mike Gaeta. Battling for that sixth position, we have a car spinning off the front stretch. That's the 716 of Tucker Reynolds. Gets that car refired, brings it back out on the track. We do stay under green. Now the leaders have a lap car to contend with. Reynolds keeping that car right down on the apron, allows the leaders to slide right on by. Keeping that car out of shape, possibly causing a dangerous situation. Some heads up driving from 716 of Tucker Reynolds. Now here comes Anderson in that 14X, blowing that chrome horn all over the back of Zervolo, going down into turn three. These guys are lined up while they do battle. Jimmy Broderick takes a look to the inside. Now the Mystique Motorsports car, another look. Zervolo says, whoa, baby, I gotta get out of here. He picks up the pace just a little bit to separate some distance between him and Anderson in the 14X. Now Broderick to the three, He's watching this all come down. Right behind him, Pearl sitting there going, somebody do something because I want to make my move now. Here comes in turn two. 54X, that was Phil Rondo going around. See the 54 of Eric Burnt, team car sliding down through the infield. Bunch of cars scrambling up there. 14 of Warren Lee coming to rest. A lot of cars emerging from that big cloud on the start. Three wide going down into turn number one. Jimmy Broderick making a daring move to take over the lead. Spell for turn number two. MG, the whole field gets blocked up about mid-pack as they start to race back to the stand. Yellow is not out. Yellow is out. Now, yellow is out. They have to slow this field down because the track is blocked up between turns one and two. We watch. All right, folks, lights are out off on that pace car as he picks up the pace in the Camaro, getting out of the way. Here we go, folks. Todd Cerevolo on that 31 on the outside, John Anderson in the 14, and here comes Broderick right behind in the three, trying to make that thing happen again. Here comes your restart, Tony Lecky lets him fly. Good jump by Cerevolo, but can he hang on? Down on the bottom side, a repeat of the last restart. There goes Broderick, but on the high side, Anderson charges away. Down into turn three, they stretch it out one more time. While well, Mr. Pearl keeps an eye on the action up front. The front four cars pull away from the back. Down into turn number three, ladies and gentlemen. Still checking out just a little bit on Anderson is the 31 of Todd Cervolo. Gaining some serious ground down into turn number one. Anderson takes a peek in between the turns, but doesn't seem to have the juice to get by as the front two runners check out from Broderick. Look at this guy go. These kids are flying tonight. Here comes Anderson out on the bottom side. Drives the bottom shot off of turn four. Cervolo shuts the door on him down into turn number one. Pushes wide in the 31. Lots of smoke as we got a car run through the infield and out of the smoke comes a 14 car of Anderson and the cerebral machine put back to second spot. Roderick in the three right now is looking at the back of the 31. He's seeing Paul's TV going, what happened? I'll tell you what, John Anderson made it happen in that 14X. The Mystique Motorsports car starting to pull away from the Cerevolo entry. The 31, he's starting to back up just ever so slightly as Anderson chucks away. Ten laps to go.
Keep your eye on the prize. That's what John Anderson says. Down the front stretch into turn number one. Pulling away ever so slightly. Lap after lap from Saravolo in the 31. Right behind him in the three is the Broderick machine. And Pearl is all over the backside of Broderick in the three. Trying to hang tough as the field stretches out. Speaking of stretching out, that's what the Anderson machine's doing. He's stretching out his lead down through turn number one. He's got about five cars on him coming off of two. Down the back straight, almost a half a straightaway in front of the 31 of Saravolo. Saravolo seems to be off his blistering pace early. Six laps to go this time by. Five laps to go, telling the back Marcus to get out of the way. Here comes Anderson in the 14X in the Mystique Motorsports car. Right behind him is Saravolo in second spot. Lots of pressure being put on by the three of Broderick. Broderick's getting ready to blow that chrome horn. Now watch Saravolo work around the left traffic as Anderson gets by the 14X down the front stretch into turn number one. Here we go, folks. Three laps to go, next time by. Anderson's checking out, doing the deed. Here comes a chrome horn from Broderick all over the back of Saravulo. Saravulo's got a little push condition coming between three and four. Down the front straightaway, hanging on to that 31. Falls TV machine. Here comes your leader trying to get around some more lap traffic as he comes by the stand this time. Ladies and gentlemen, John Anderson and the Mystique Motorsports 14X will get the twin popsicle sticks. Gets around the left traffic with ease. Down the back stretch out of turn number two. He smells victory. Off of turn four, here he comes, ladies and gentlemen, laying heavy on that Mystique Motorsports machine. White flag left. Got three more turns, two more turns. Down the back stretch into turn number three. Now Broderick's trying to put the pressure on Cerebolo, trying to pick up that second spot. No doing. Here's your winner, the 14X. Down across the stripe. John Anderson, the Mystique Motorsports car. Then we got a spin Bob right off the last lap, coming off a of turn four. That's a 27 of David Gata spinning across the start finish line. Wow, Gata putting on a real show, robbing a little of the attention away from the front runner of the 14X Mystique Motorsports car driven by John Anderson. What a drive, what a drive. Man, oh man, he couldn't get around that 31 for the life of him. Then all of a sudden, a few laps back, in through the infield, the car goes and spins up, kicks up some dust in front of turn two. And the next thing you know, out comes Anderson out in front. And it was unbelievable, MG. John Anderson now taking a victory lap with checkered flag in hand. All right, ladies and gentlemen, taking his victory lap, the 14X of John Anderson, that beautiful Mystique Motorsports black modified, doing it to it here at the Waterford Speed Bowl. What a show, what a show. Look at the 31. Todd Cerevulo, another superb competitor. There's Todd. Let's give Todd Cerevulo a nice round of applause for putting on a hell of a show as well, holding down that first spot for a long time. Right behind him, Jimmy Broderick in the three, as we await John Anderson to pop over the hood. When you see his head come over that hood, ladies and gentlemen, give him a nice Waterford yell, because he deserves it. He's getting his picture taken right now. Click, click, there we go, folks. Let's get this guy out of the car and let him deserve all the kudos that he's gonna get, the awards and the accolades. Your modified Bud Blastoff, remaining 80 lap winner, coming out of his modified right now, John Anderson! Let's go down to trackside right now with MG to talk to the race winner of the Modifieds. John, welcome back to the Speedball. Yeah, I love the Speedball. I always do pretty good down here. I know the groove good. He was setting a good pace there. He was really running good. And uh, I was putting the pressure on. I kept the pressure on all night. I had just a little push coming out. And right at the end there, when that cloud of smoke came, it was... Uh, I, I think he just hesitated for a second on the smoke in the back shoot, and I just, I didn't know if there was a car there or not. I was dependent on my spotters to tell me that. I was standing on the gas. If I landed in the parking lot, that was the deal. But <laughs> that's where I got him, right there. And that was, I was, once I got the, you know, if we stayed single file, he had me. But I just, I had to get him in traffic or on a, you know, just a slingshot move, and that was it. I got him. So how good is this Mystique Motorsports car? It's a real good race car. These cars are race work cars, Mystique. 
it puts good cars under us. Uh, next, you know, I, I'm having a, I had because uh, I won, I'm having a ball. I'm thinking about coming here every week because my other car is going to be ready for Stafford. So, well, I don't know. We might be back to see you down here. Yeah, that's my next question. Plans coming back, running weekly? Yeah, I li I'd like to. Yeah, we'll see what the boss man says. All right, John, good to have you back. Picking up a win, 1995 Mystique Motorsports car. Let's give it up for John Anderson one more time, folks. He deserves it.